I have a Whirlpool washer modeled WTW57 SV1. The machine is about three years old. About five months ago troubles began. I first noticed the machine sometimes agitated immediately upon being turned on during the filling portion of the wash cycle, rather than kicking in when the appropriate water level had been reached. I say sometimes, because when the appliance repair guy came to fix it, the problem didn't happen. He checked some stuff and claimed my valves hadn't been opened all the way at the wall. This made no sense because I have never touched them from the time they were installed, and everything had been working fine for years. Then I noticed that sometimes the spin cycle was not adequate, or worse, at the end of the spin cycle, some water would be sprayed onto the load just before shut off. I could mess around and get the cycle to spin again on a different setting such as quick wash and get along with that inconvenient add-on. Again, this problem did not happen every wash, just sometimes. Now suddenly when pulling on the knob to start the washer, absolutely nothing happens. No tripped circuit breaker, the machine is plugged in, etc., but won't start. My question, could this all be attributed to need for a new timer mechanism, or does it mean both the timer and the auto sensor switch both have failed? I have watched videos on replacing the timer mechanism, and it seems like I might be able to handle that repair myself. I think that would save me at least half the cost of a professional repair for my pricing research locally. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. Hi, Janine. I'm Smitty. I am a professional appliance repair consultant here to help you diagnose and repair your appliance. Yes, so the timer may be the primary issue here, but I need to confirm something in the manual before I commit to telling you to replace the timer. This will take a bit as I have to download the manual from the tech site. Please understand that I am not the world's fastest typer and it can take up to 15 minuets, or more, to gather the information you need and type it all up. I may also be working with multiple customers and that also can delay my reply to you. Rest assured I will not leave you hanging. If you like reply to me and ask how much longer I will be. I'll be happy to let you know. Relisting your question will not get you a faster reply. Please bear with me and I promise to type as fast as my fingers can find the keys. Thank you. That sounds good. Dot, thank you. Also, I have found a timer as a manufacturer's refurbished part as seen here https colon slash secure dot lfl dot com slash cgi bin slash cpf dot cgi pg equals prod and ref equals w101778827 are the prices less than half the best price for a new part I can find online. What do you think of that option? Thanks. The water level switch has failed and is telling the timer that the unit has enough water in it to start agitating. This yaw a common problem with this model series and is easily resolved by replacing the switch. Please click here to order the switch. The switch is located in the console. It is part number 12 in this diagram. If replacing the switch does not resolve the problem then you will have to replace the timer also. Unfortunately there isn't a test to determine if the timer needs replacement along with the switch or not. Refurbished timers are a good choice as long as you get at least a 90 day warranty, that site has a 6 month warranty. If it is going to fail it will in the first 3 months. 1 year is best but not too common. Thank you for allowing me to assist you. As you know, we work on the honor system here. This will not close your question, or prevent you from asking follow-up questions. 
please consider clicking bonus as a nice way of saying thanks for a job well done, although this is neither required nor expected. Hello Smitty, thank you for your help. I will certainly give you a positive rating. I have one more question for clarification, as I described initially, the machine will not turn on at all now. Is it possible that the water level switch alone could be responsible for the complete absence of turn on functionality? I can imagine how a faulty water switch could be the cause of the earlier problems of agitation while filling, squirting water while spinning, etc. But is it possible that a bad water level switch all by itself could cause the machine to have no response to the pull knob, while the timer is still in good working order? Would a good plan be to 1. Buy both parts to install the water level switch first, and see what happens. 3. Then if that does not solve the problem, replace the timer. Sites I have found allow for returns, so I would have that option as a backdoor if unable to make the repair myself. Thank you again. Sorry I missed that in your first question. Yes the timer would be good to get along with the switch. In most cases both need to be replaced but I got some negative feedback from one customer that didn't need the timer and was understandably upset. So now I prefer to tell customers to replace them one at a time. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.